Welcome everyone! In this lesson we will work on one example using the Newton's method. The Newton's method is a procedure used to find the roots of a function. Here is the example. Starting with x sub 1 equal to 1, find the fourth approximation to the root of the equation x raised to the power of 5 minus x cubed plus 2x squared minus 1 equal to 0. Give your answer to four decimal places. The iteration rule for the Newton's approximation is the following x sub n plus 1 equal to x sub n minus f of x sub n divided by f prime of x sub n. Now let's go through our problem. We let our function to be like this f of x equals to x raised to the power of 5 minus x cubed plus 2x squared minus 1. From the general formula, we can see that we need the first derivative of the function. So we have f prime of x equals to 5x raised to the power of 4 minus 3x squared plus 4x. And from the problem, we can see we have our starting value of x sub 1 equal to 1. The problem asks to find the fourth approximation. So, since we have our initial approximation x sub 1, we go and solve second approximation x sub 2 by using the general formula. So, x sub 2 equal to. Now we have x sub 1 x sub n, or in our case, we have f x sub 1 minus f of x sub 1 divided by f prime of x sub 1. We have this expression, and now let's replace what we know. First, I will write it like this. x sub 2 equal to x sub 1 minus. Now, I will write the function and its derivative here. So we have x sub 1 raised to the power of 5 minus x sub 1 cubed plus 2x sub 1 squared minus 1 divided by 5x sub 1 raised to the power of 4 minus 3x sub 1 squared plus 4x sub 1. Now we replace our initial approximation at the place of x and we will have x sub 1 is 1 minus 1 raised to the power of 5 minus 1 cubed plus 2 times 1 squared minus 1 divided by 5 times 1 raised to the power of 4 minus 3 times 1 squared plus 4 times 1. So let's use a calculator now. And we have a value of 0 0.8333. I will stop here because the question asks the answer to be to 4 decimal places. So we have our second approximation. Now we go and solve the third approximation by using the value from the second approximation. Let's write down everything. We have x sub 3 equal to x sub 2 minus x sub 2 raised to the power of 5 minus x sub 2 cubed plus 2 times x sub 2 squared minus 1 divided by 5 x sub 2 raised to the power of 4 minus 3 x sub 2 squared plus 4 x sub 2. Now I will plug in the values from the second approximation. So 0 0.8333 minus 0 0.8333 raised to the power of 5 minus 0 
cubed plus 2 times 0 0.8333 squared minus 1 divided by 5 times 0 0.8333 raised to the power of 4 minus 3 times 0 0.8333 squared plus 4 times 0 0.8333. I use my calculator and I get a value of 0 0.7754 for the third approximation. And now the last iterate x sub 4. I'm sure you get the point up until now how I did everything, so I will go and write the values directly. So we have 0 0.7754 minus 0 0.7754 raised to the power of 5 minus 0 0.7754 cubed plus 2 times 0 0.7754 squared minus 1 divided by 5 times 0 0.7754 raised to the power of 4 minus 3 times 0 0.7754 squared plus 4 times 0 0.7754. Sometimes it is better to calculate one by one part instead of plugging everything in your calculator. And I will do it that way now. 0 0.7754 minus, we have here a value of 0 0.0166 divided by 3.1053. So after four iteration, we've got the approximate solution of x sub 4, 0 0.7700. I hope this gave you a better understanding of the Newton's method of finding the roots of a function, or better said, the zeros of a function. Thanks for watching and have a great day.